Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Viewers, today we will discuss model auxiliary verbs would, could, and should. This lecture is divided into two parts. And first part, we will be discussing the uses of these verbs. And in the second part, we will be discussing differences. So let's get started. The first uses of wood. The one of the basic uses of wood is to ask questions. The word is used to ask questions. For example, would you give me book please book please? The word is also used with who, what, when, where, why, and how. For example, how would they react? So the word is also used with these words. The word is also used to make a polite request. For example, I would like some rice, please. So here we are making a request. Second example, I would like you to sit down now. This is a request. You are asking someone to take a seat. The word is used to show a different response. Example is here. I would have helped you if I had known you were stranded. So here the response is shown that I would have helped had I known that you were stranded. Another use of wood is to show habitual past action. For example, Flavia would cry whenever John would leave home. So this is used in habitual past actions. The word is also used to show preference between two choices used with rather or sooner. For example, I would rather handwrite than type. It means I would prefer to write with hand than typing it. So when choices are given there, when you give the choices, you use would. The word is used to show a wish or desire. Example, would it were so? The sentence means I wish it were so. So when you are making desires or wishes, you use would. Another use of would is to show intention or plan. Here is an example. She said she could, she would come. It means that she said she was planning to come. The word is used to express doubt. For example, the answer would seem to be correct. In other words, the answer is probably correct. It means the doubt is there, that the probability is there. Now let's discuss that what are the uses of should. The very basic is the use of should is to ask questions. For example, should I turn in my assignment now? In other words, it means am i supposed to turn in my assignment now so when you are asking questions you you should should is also used to show obligation for example you should brush your teeth after every meal so when obligations are there you use should remember we will be discussing the differences also in this video
the sure is also used to show a possible future event for example if i should find your book i will be sure to call you so the condition is there that if i will find a book then i will call you the sure is used to express what is likely I means something that is likely to happen for example with an early start they should be here by noon so if they start early then they will be here by noon should is also used to politely express a request or direct statement for example should i go home now now let's discuss the uses of could the could as a past tense of can for example in those days all people could build houses so it means in past the people could build houses the could is also used to ask questions for example could i leave now the could is used to show possibility for example you could study harder than you do the could is used to express tentativeness or politeness for example could you come over here please now let's discuss the differences between could and would basically there are three differences the first one is and the past tense we know that could is the past form of can and would is the past form of will example i can run 10 miles a day this is the present tense it means i have the ability to run 10 miles a day if we change it in past tense then i could run 10 miles a day when i was young so this is the story of past it means when i was young then i had the ability to run 10 miles a day now let's take the example of woods i know we will win the match this is the present tense and this is the confidence that i'm showing another example i knew we would win the match so this is the story of past the match is finished and i already knew that we will win the match second is possible situations and imaginary situations when there is a possible situation we use could for example it could rain tonight it means when i went out i looked outside when i looked at the clouds then i met the probability or possibility that it may it might rain tonight another example awesome isn't answering his phone he could be busy so this is the possible situation that he could be busy that is why he is not answering phone but when we are using imaginary situations there we use would for example if i had a million dollars i would buy a new house so here the situation is imaginary if i had million dollars i would buy it means i don't have i'm just imagining that if i had such amount of money then i would buy a new house then the third difference is in polite expressions for example the first one to make suggestions when we are making suggestion there we use could for example we could try that new hotel so here we are making a suggestion but to make offers we use would so remember to make suggestions we use could and when we make offers we use would for example 
would you like some coffee it means we are offering this coffee to someone the third making rupees when we are making rupees we can use could and would for example could you open the door please or would you open the door we can use both in this situation the next is asking permission and again when we are asking permission we can use both could and would for example can i borrow your bike for some time the example is here could i borrow your bike for some time but we can write it in other words would it be okay if i borrowed your bike for some time so here if we are asking permissions we can use both could and would thank you very much uh, for watching this video